Hello friends, now we are going to study the next topic related to the same subject high voltage engineering and the name of the topic is current growth equation in presence of primary ionization process. In previous lecture we have already studied what is mean by ionization process and this ionization process which we have studied is classified into two. The first is called as primary ionization and second is called as secondary ionization. In ionization process, we have considered the negative supply and positive supply of the supply source, negative supply and positive supply of the supply source is connected to the electrodes. The electrode which is connected to the negative supply attains cathode or is called as cathode and the another electrode is represented as anode which attains positive charge on the electrode. These two electrodes are separated by certain distance d are separated by certain distance d now due to the photon energy or ultraviolet light uv rays which falls on the cathode releases one electron from the cathode workplace this light energy releases one electron and it travels towards the anode in between the gap of the electrodes. During this travel, when it collides with the neutral molecule, here this neutral molecule of the gas is represented as N and this N is indicating the gas insulating material of that is neutral molecule of the gas insulating material gas insulating material so when it collides it develops one electron and the initial electron so the total electrons becomes two now let us understand the same concept by considering a graph between current and voltage. The voltage is applied between the two electrodes. So increase in voltage from its zeroth value increases the value of the current and it settles to the initial value of current called as I0. So what is mean by I0? I0 basically is the initial current initiated initial current initiated from the cathode workplace in other words we can represent that current with the number of electrons from electrons initiated from the cathode so n0 be the number of electrons n0 be the number of electrons emitted from the cathode workplace from the cathode workplace so this increase in voltage increases the value of current that is i0 this current becomes constant for some time and this constant current of i0 is called as saturation it means that current becomes constant and that constant current is represented as saturation. Then the number of electrons which are initiated from the cathode get collide with the neutral molecule and this collision develops more electrons 
with the positive ions. Initiated electron is developing two electrons. Those two electrons again travel and get collide with another neutral molecule. So I just say this is 1e which is one electrons initiated. This is 2e that is second electron initiated. Now this 1e again travel towards anode get collide with neutral molecule and this one electron and collision develops third electron with the positive ion. Second electron also travel towards anode get collide with the neutral molecule as you know it is represented as n. So this second electron initiated or develops fourth electron from it with again positive ion. So now the total number of electrons in between the gap becomes four. So these increase in the electrons are represented as a exponential curve. So we can say the saturation is the level before collision. Saturation of the current is before collision due to increase in voltage. Whatever the increase in current takes place that is before collision. But after the collisions which takes place frequently that gives us the exponential growth in the current and that is called as after collision. So before collision we have saturation and after collision we have exponential growth in current exponential growth in current exponential growth in current means that current is increasing tremendously so this exponential growth is only and only due to the collision which we are considering in this particular lecture so more and more number of electrons initiated from that now i just consider that previous diagram again so that you can understand the derivation called current growth equation. So it means current is growing. As I said, with the help of curve, the graph between current and voltage. But now we have to do the derivation of that current growth equation. So after a distance of say x, the number of electrons which are initiated from cathode workplace becomes n after a distance of x the number of electrons which are initiated from cathode workplace becomes n so it means there are n number of electrons developed due to the collision now let us consider a distance of dx consider a distance of dx so this distance when have again the collisions and so on the number of electrons developed are dn so n0 be the initial electron n be the number of electrons after a distance of x and in general dn be the number of electrons after a distance of dx and all those increase in the electrons from n0 to n and n to dn it is only and only due to the collision and only and only due to collision so let us complete this derivation now here with this I want to introduce one factor called as Townsend's first ionization coefficient. Just see the definition of it. This Townsend's first ionization coefficient is defined as the number of electrons produced by an electron per unit length of path in the direction of field. And it is represented as alpha. 
so this is nothing but the number of collisions which are takes place per unit length to develop more number of electrons between the gap so now how many number of electrons are developed it is dn the number of collisions are alpha after a distance of x the number of electrons are n and this dn is due to the gap for that is dn is for a gap of dx now integrate both sides this integration gives me integration of dn now for that i have to take this n in the denominator so what i do i just take this n from right hand side on the left hand side so i get dn upon n is equal to alpha into dx now integrate left hand side and right hand side so integrate both the sides integrate both the sides i get integration of dn upon n is equal to alpha is the constant and integration of dx now integration of this 1 upon n with dn gives me natural log of n that is ln of n is equal to alpha integration of 1 is x so alpha x plus integration constant as a so what is a a is called as integration constant a is called as integration constant this integration constant can be derived by considering the initial values for x and n so let us consider let x is equal to 0 means the distance between the electrodes is equal to 0 implies when that distance is equal to 0 the number of electrons initiated from cathode is n0 and therefore we get x equal to 0 it means n is equal to n is equal to n0 n is equal to n0 so this n is equal to n0 means number of electrons are equal to n0 i get ln of n0 is equal to that distance is 0 plus a so what is the value of a a is equal to ln of n0 if a is equal to ln of n0 then you can change this equation let us now name this as equation 1 and i just say let x equal to 0 implies n equal to n0 is put it in equation 1 so put it in equation 1 put it in equation 1 and i just say 1 implies ln is equal to this and let us say this is equation 2 now put equation 2 equation 2 in equation 1 in equation 1 therefore therefore 1 gives me natural log of n is equal to alpha into x plus natural log of initial number of electrons emitted from cathode taking natural log together i get n upon n zero is equal to alpha into x so what i am getting is i just write it on the next slide ln of n upon n zero is equal to alpha into x by taking anti log on both sides anti log on both sides this anti log gives me n upon n0 is equal to 
e to the power alpha x. Take that n0 on right hand side, I get n is equal to n0 into e to the power alpha into x. n and n0 is indicating the number of electrons, alpha is indicating the number of collisions and x is indicating the distance. But now we know that distance is d, therefore n is equal to n0 into e to the power alpha d. Let us represent this number of electrons in terms of current. So I get I is equal to I0 into e to the power alpha d. So this is called as the current growth equation due to the primary ionization. So it means when this primary ionization process completes, it is completed, we get the increase in current. And how that current increases? That current increases in this manner. So this is verified from the derivation that the increase in current in between the gap of the electrodes is exponential. That is also explained by considering the graph that is graphical representation between current and voltage. So that's all with this understanding of current growth equation in presence of primary ionization process. Thank you so much guys.